why am I losing everything? The amount of supplements I take at almost 50 years old is ridiculous. Is this crooked? Of course it is. I'm not fixing it.
Good morning. I love weekends. I love being able to take my time in the morning to get my workout in, make my coffee, and just relax after, like, instead of running around trying to get ready for work. I like it a lot. So, let's see. What's been happening? We, last weekend? Last weekend? No. Maybe the weekend before? I don't remember. When, with the holidays, everything just kind of blended into one. I mean, I had to go back to work midweek between Christmas and New Year's. But honestly, I had so many days off for Christmas and then for New Year's that everything just kind of blurred together. I'm not complaining whatsoever. But, um, yeah, last week I was back at work for four days. So it was like almost like a full work week. So this next week will be a full work week. I don't know. I don't know if I can handle it, guys. It's a lot. But we got finally a new mattress. So it's back there underneath that giant pile of laundry. It needs to be folded. <laughs> but I promise you it is back there. We got it delivered Thursday, so we have had Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday, three nights <laughs> to sleep on it, and it is heaven, you guys. I don't know if I've told you the story behind my mattress, but it was 10 years old, and when my mom got sick, there was only one spot in the house that I could get good reception on my phone. We live out in the sticks. And so there was only one spot and it happened to be on that bed in the corner, right where I sleep, like right in the middle, right on the edge of the bed. So for a year and a half, I had to sit there every single day. I didn't have to. I, had to, I sat there every single day for at least a half an hour talking to my mom. And I tend to be a plopper. <laughs> And so I would plop down on there and I, it, there was just a big old indent. And that's on top of it being a 10 year old mattress. And I was a very large person and a plopper. So anyway, there was a giant divot on where I sleep. So giant divot, really wreaking havoc on my back uh, for the last year or so. And my hips, everything can't sleep on my sides because of that divot. It, it like literally will make me twist. And um, so I just trained myself to sleep on my back, which isn't necessarily bad, but also I'd like to be able to shift around and get some sort of different level of comfort. But anyway, we finally got a new mattress. We went to Macy's. That was a whole fiasco. It, it's, I mean, there's a reason we put it off for as long as we did. And it's because you have to go and you have to deal with people <laughs> and, you know, salespeople and trying to find the right fit, trying to find the, you know, it's just, it's not fun. So we put it off, put it off, put it off, but we had all that time off. And so we tried to mentally prepare ourselves and we both had a day because normally when Rob's off on the weekends, he's got stuff. He's, he's a go, go, go kind of guy. I'm a, I I want to take my time and not do anything. He's a go, go, go. I'd like to have plans. I'd like to get stuff done. So he usually, his Saturdays, he has a band rehearsal with his buddy. And then on Sundays, he goes and sees his dad. He has some downtime, but not enough for us to like take a trek into town and see about getting a new mattress. So we had one day off where we didn't have any plans, either of us. And so away we went. And it wasn't horrible, but it also, it was adulting, okay? And I don't like to adult. So we went to Macy's because the whole idea was, I, my idea was uh, if we go to Macy's, we're not going to be bothered by a salesperson because there's hardly, I never see anybody down there. It's, it's right by Macy's backstage where I shop. So 
uh, I was like, we can just lay around and try on the try on the mattresses and we won't get bothered. And then we can go to a mattress store if they're too expensive because it's Macy's. And then, you know, we'll know kind of what we want. And so we ended up finding a, a bed that was on closeout. So it ended up being, we got, we got out for basically a thousand, which was our goal. So we get, had it delivered on Thursday and that was, it's there and I love it. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's like, it's not, it still transfers more, more emotion than I would like it to, but compared to our last mattress, like I, I don't wake up nearly as much in the middle of the night when Rob moves around because he moves around a lot. So, and the dogs also. So it's, it's been nice. It's been really nice. I'm very happy. I feel very adult like getting a new mattress. Like I'm a grown up. I did a grown up thing. Look at me go. Anyway, so yay for that. Oh, as of yesterday when I weighed in, I'm back down to 136. So all of the holiday weight is off, but I did, <laughs> I did get round table pizza yesterday, but I fit it all into my my plan so what else is new <sighs> guys i've been buying a lot of clothes like a ridiculous amount of clothes i need to stop but it's like i like i spent so many years suppressing that <laughs> their urge the to buy clothes because i hated it because i never liked how anything looked on me going to the store and trying stuff on was a nightmare and I didn't do it. I wouldn't do it because I would, ra I would rather buy something off the rack, not try it on and risk it not fitting, knowing damn well that I would never make it back to the store to return it. So I would rather eat the cost of a garment that is, that I'm never going to wear and then have to buy another one that hopefully will fit. Like it's, it, it was a vicious cycle. I would rather do that than go into the dressing room and try clothes on. It was a nightmare. I, by the end of it, even if it was just a couple items, I was sweaty. I was gross. I was out of breath, but hated it, hated it, and hated everything that I tried on because I didn't like the way it looked on me. Now <laughs> I'm all about it. <laughs> I will go in to the dressing room with way more items than like, I have to make several trips because I'll, exceed the maximum items that you can bring in at one time and fully not intending to buy half of the items just going in because I want to see how they look on me and maybe take a picture to have proof of how it looked at it's it's a sickness guys it's a sickness I have a problem and I need to stop and not only that so now to to be fair I have only been going to Ross and Macy's backstage. But also, I have been doing Shein. So, it's like, I have so many clothes. I have so many clothes. And I got rid of bags upon bags upon bags when I cleaned my closet of my old clothes. Like, they finally made it to Goodwill. Like, they're gone. They're gone. But my closet is still ridiculously full. It's, it's a problem. And it's a problem now. Like, it wasn't so much a problem in the last year because I was going down sizes. So it wasn't like, you know, I, I would, I would buy stuff, but I would be getting rid of stuff because I would be buying stuff as I was going down. So it was, it was kind of a thing and maybe that's where it started. And I just sort of got used to buying things on the week, on the monthly basis. I don't know, but it's a problem. <laughs> Because now I'm not getting rid of stuff. Now that my weight has sort of leveled out, I'm not purging the items. I just keep buying. So it's like, it's kind of like when I was bulimic, right? I was binging and then I was purging. And then when I was trying to heal, I stopped purging, but I never healed the part of me that, that, would binge. So instead of binging and purging and not gaining any weight or staying, you know, roughly the same, I just started binging and not purging and then packed on the pounds. My closet is packing on the pounds, y'all. So 
I need to do something. I need to not shop, but I'm just, it's like, it's, 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 it's an obsession. It's an obsession. It's a problem. I'm the problem. It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So I went to Ross yesterday. <laughs> so the pizza came in. Hi, and this is the chocolate peanut butter cookie that I'm having for breakfast because all things in moderation. The holiday weight is gone. <laughs> now let's work on something else. <laughs> no, it's in moderation. It's within my what I want for my allotted calories today. I'm going to have it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Back to that. Yesterday, when I was out and about, I thought, I'm going to get pizza tonight. Rob's at his dad's. He yeah, every every um two months or so. He has this group of guys that he jams with. Um and it's it's a little bit far away and it's easier for him on the way home because it's usually late. It's usually like 11 30, 12 at night. He'll just stop at his dad's and spend the night there rather than come all the way out into the country at that hour. And it works out well. I get a night to myself and it, 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 it's fun. <laughs> and so that last night was one of those nights. So I went, I had to go out to go grocery shopping anyway. And I wanted to stop at the dollar store because I wanted to get some of those. Um, I'd seen that you can get the little yogurt parfait cups with the little, anyway, I got those and I wanted to get some of those pantry organizers and refrigerator organizers, those little shell, those little things. Anyway, I got all that. So I went to the dollar store and I was like, well, I'm right near Ross. So <laughs> I went to Ross, got tried on some stuff and, um, got only a couple things. I, I was, I, I showed restraint, but then I was like, you know what? I want pizza tonight. I want pizza tonight. And I don't want frozen pizza. And there's a round table right down the street on my way home. I wonder what I could have there that wouldn't be too bad for me. And so it, every, it worked out perfectly. I had a personal, one of those pan pizzas, uh, but individual size. And I only, I had two pieces of it. It was a, the, like the California bacon, garlic, something or other. Um, I had two pieces of the individual size. And then I had uh, two pieces of the garlic bread with cheese on it. And then um, I had cinnamon twist and it was, it was a more than enough food and it, it was within what I could eat. And I, and I, it was so nice. I'm this is, and this was all done purposely because I'm trying to train my brain that I can do this stuff. I'm trying to heal my relationship with food and heal my relationship up here with myself. Cause you know, last video I was talking about how it's maintenance is scaring the hell out of me because I'm just so scared that I'm going to gain all my weight back. But I'm, I'm doing these things, these little, still little tiny steps to prove to myself that it can happen. This, I can eat like a normal person and be okay. So I did. I had two pieces of pizza, two pieces of garlic bread. There were garlic breads, pretty small and a cinnamon twist. So I call that a win. And I wasn't afraid to get on the scale this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm learning things guys. I'm learning things and it feels good. I'm not saying there won't be any more panic moments because this is still me, <laughs> but it felt good. It felt good to be out and about, grab something, be able to eat it and, and not feel guilty about it. So yay me. All right, that's that's about it for me right now. Next weekend, I, I have booked a hotel room. I'm going to take my weekend to myself. Like I've told you guys, I do this. I used to do it twice a year to recharge my batteries, just have a weekend to myself, bring knitting, crochet, books, all the things that I do by myself that I never get a chance to do anymore because life... And it just, I take a weekend, I go swimming in the pool at the hotel. 
I get the free breakfast, I have food delivered, and I just have me time for two solid days and it's perfect. It usually recharges my batteries and then I'm good for another six months or a year. Haven't done this since before COVID. I, I, I'm reaching a point where I need it. Everybody and everything is irritating me and it's not getting better. So I need this. So next week I'm going to do that. I will take you guys along and um, you'll see me doing a bunch of boring stuff, I guess. But <laughs> All right. If you have enjoyed any part of this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.